this uh, and just start because y'all been waiting for long enough. Um, sorry, PSN has been down and trying to figure out uh, my universe mode now because, you know, I downloaded people today and didn't add them to shit, so I've been slacking and I do apologize. Give me un momento. I'm trying to figure this out. As you guys can tell, we're having new talent. Blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah. None of these people are going to debut right away. So, yet again, I apologize for all of that. Actually, need to get rid of these people. Switching peoples around, you know. Oh, go away. Looks fine, babe. Alright, so I think we're just about groovy with that. Sorry about all the commotion in the background. Don't have to be rude. You are being rude. Dog's gone freaking nuts. Alright. Alright, so get ready and get this. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. Have to do some stuff real quick. Alright, so the first match we have for the night, ignore all of the stuff that you saw before then, uh, Jesus Perez versus Travis, Travis is, is the, no I can't, my controller's plugged in. So, uh, Jesus Perez versus Travis, Travis is our opportunity briefcase holder. Um, so Travis has the opportunity to cash in on one of three contracts that is in that briefcase, um, tag team championship, TV title, and world championship. Um, however, he has a opportunity briefcase match. He defends it pretty much like a championship would be defended, but only in a TLC style match that we'd like to call Full Metal Mayhem. Sorry, Impact Wrestling. Um, so, we'll talk more about that later. But as of right now, we're going to go ahead and get ready for this match. Seems like it's going to be great. Alright. The crowd here in LA is electric. And here we come. Mr. Jesus Perez. Yeah. 
Here he comes. Big man. Oh no, who is this? Is that? That's madness from BCW. He comes out and attacks Jesus Perez with a chair. What is madness doing here? He's not signed to UWA. What is going on? Oh man. Oh man, As Jesus lands on the chair on the ramp. Sliding clothesline. What is Madness doing here? Somebody needs to have somebody come out and break these two up. He's looking ridiculous. Madness just taking it to Jesus. Never saw it coming. Madness is going down towards the ring. Jesus is running after him. These two big men. Taking it to one another. Madness just came out of nowhere. Didn't even know he was in LA tonight. He's used with a back elbow. Kick to the side. Rolls him up. Nice ground wrestling here, but this is not a wrestling match, and referee finally gets in there and able to break it up. I don't know what that was all about. Maybe we can figure that out later see if madness has anything to say about his actions but jesus standing tall in that but we're just going to go ahead and get right into our next match here uh debuting rose flynn facing the emerald warrior jade winters in a traditional uwa style death match I'm sure these women are going to pull out nothing but all of everything in the kitchen sink. Yes, old school terms for y'all that don't know. <clears throat> but also on the card tonight, we have um, Cassidy Warren facing off against Amaya Storm. And Cassidy Warren is in a stable with Jessica Flynn against all authority and Jessica will be at ringside as it's known Jessica and Amaya have been going back and forth over who should be the rightful wearer of the Thank UWA you. Women's Championship oh, and we have Travis finally coming to Ryan leave Ryan leave I'm doing a live stream Sorry about that. Travis finally coming to commentary. Hello, guys. What's up, man? It's about goddamn time you got here. Hey. hey, hey. So. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm excited to see Rose Flynn make her debut here. In UWA, and what better place to do it than in LA, lovely Los Angeles? And here comes Rose. Wait, wait, I, I didn't see my match, so who won it? You haven't, uh, it didn't happen. Uh, Madness came out and attacked Jesus. <laughs> Dropping Madness, making his big. UWA appearance just a little while ago attacking Jesus Perez from behind on the stage with a steel chair but when they got into the ring and it came down to Matt Bay's wrestling the referee was actually able to split them apart Jesus Perez was the one standing on top but I'm sure we're going to touch into that a little later at the moment we have Rose Flynn in the ring right now as she's awaiting her opponent Jay Winters Because it's done with die. There's a die option for you here. And here comes Jay Winters. Yeah. As we know, Travis, Jade has put on a show in one of the UWA's original women in the division.
calls herself the Emerald Warrior, the Emerald Goddess. <clears throat> but we'll see how she matches up against Rose. And we are underway. Rose with a neck breaker, very nicely done. Rose Flynn, first ever BCW. Oh, nice sidewinder, side slam there. Jade's got Rose here. Nice offensive move there with the butterfly suplex by Jade Winners. Rose is trying to find her feet here. Jade to the second rope. Rose stirs. She gets up. Oh, Jade with a miss and drop kick from the second rope. Hitting Rose directly in the chest. Speaking of kicks to the chest, Rose just caught that one. Nice dragon screw. Leg up there. Kick to the chest from Rose to Jade. Showing a little bit of her striking ability as well. It's Jade. Oh, super kick out of nowhere. What is Rose looking for here as she climbs to the top rope? Calling for Jade to get up. I guess she was looking for a hurricane run off the top there. Looked like she overshot it a bit. Oh, drop kick, mule kick right to the chest. How do you feel about Rose Flynn so far, Travis? <clears throat> I think Travis is having technical difficulties with his mic. Jade with the elbow drop across the knee to Rose. Picks her up to one knee now. Got her by the back of the head. Looking like she's going to guide her the rope with a snap there, though. Knee to the back. Center of the back. It looked horrible. Jade puts Rose into the corner. Smack to the chest. Oh, man. Claws the top. Springboard. Oh, beautiful drop kick there off the springboard by Jade Winners to Rose Flynn. Uh-oh. What is Jade looking for here? And with me all, and she misses it. Rose with the trip going for the pin. One, two, and a kick out of two from... Jade winners. Kick to the sole of the back there by Rose. Rose is now looking underneath the ring, trying to find something dangerous, and she's got a kendo stick. Doesn't know if she wants to use it or not. Now remember that's concrete out there. Oh man, that looked painful. Reverse DDT right down on the concrete on the outside. Hit her once with the kendo stick. Throws Jade back in the ring. What is Rose looking for here? Oh, man. Oh, man. What a tornado kick. Jade may be out cold. One, two, and it's only a two count. Oh, man. Jade winners. Showing that she does have resiliency. Oh, drapes her across the top rope. This Rose. Reversal. Going for a pin. One. And only a one count there. Looks like a little slow count there from the referee. Jade to the second rope. Rose back onto her feet. And another missile dropkick to the chest from Jade. Got her up. Oh, over the top. Reversal. Reverse DDT. Rose Flynn looks like she could be in control here. Pinfall one and only one count. Another kick to the center of the back. 
Throwing out all the strikes there. Jade. Here we go. And another springboard drop kick. I don't know what Jade could be looking for here. Kick to the center of the in between the shoulder blades. Now just wrenching on that neck. Jade heavily in control right now. Got Rose up. Spins around. Emerald. Oh man. There's the Emerald Fusion. Or looking to set up for it. Here it is. Emerald Fusion. Jade could have it here. She needs to go for the pin. One, two, three. Jade wears beats Rose Flynn on Rose's debut. Oh, man. That's unexpected. Sure, Rose isn't very too happy about that, but I will have to say the performance from Rose should not go without being noticed. She really did put in a fight there. Jade was just too much versatile off that. Emerald knee strike. Rose looking for a pin there. Didn't get it. One, two, and then the kick out from Jade. Here's that tornado kick. I thought it was going to be the end of it there. But Jade was able to kick out of that as well. There's that drop kick. And then she hit her with a Death Valley driver after that. And then topped it off with the Emerald Fusion. Got the pinfall for the victory. Jade Winners is your winner. Ha ha. Um, so yeah, that, that was actually a really good match. But as we're going to move forward down the line of the show... Our next match, Casey Marr making his third UWA TV appearance. Casey's also been working in BCW recently along with Legacy. Had a wonderful show out at No Surrender. Uh, kind of got beat up a little bit at the end there. Um, saw some turmoil happen. But that's okay because I'm sure Casey will end up getting his revenge. It's also been announced that Casey is now a part of the Yakuza. Chris Malenko must have an eye in this young man. But as of right now, Casey Marr is getting ready to face Mike Storm in our next contest. We're waiting for these gentlemen to make it to gorilla position. Oh, that fireworks. And here comes the assassin, Casey Marr. Strobe lights out the ass. Fireworks too. Casey looking like a revamp here with his entrance. So happy to see Casey back here in UWA. It's been a little while since the last time he was in a UWA ring. But he looks good. And here comes Mike Storm.
Mike Storm was not able to join us two weeks ago in Japan. He was having some issues uh, trying to get his passport figured out. But he did say he did get it figured out. So the next time that we do go out of the country, which we will be announcing later on um, within the evening, he will be on tour with us. We actually have a couple of announcements to make tonight. Uh, some huge ones, first ever's, even announcement of new titles and a new tournament. But we'll get into that after this match. We'll go through some announcements before we get into the next one. Mike Storm looking very confident here. See how he does. And here we go, we are underway. Mike Storm off the game with a cutter. Beautifully done. He's actually put a couple of people away with a cutter. Similar looking to that one. Already out underneath the ring. Mike Storm knows what it takes to be in UWA. He's been in hardcore matches before with us. But Casey is no stranger to hardcore rules and deathmatch style rules he said before he came over to uwa was watching and became a fan oh that's been oh onto the concrete blue thunderbomb onto the outside that looked horrendous there sling blade again to the concrete does casey mar go oh right into the wooden steps on the outside there Yes, we have wooden steps, not steel steps. <clears throat> oh, punches and turns him around. Casey Marr with a reversal, a couple back elbows to the face of Mike Storm. Oh, man, the back of the head hitting the bottom step. Throws Mike back into the ring. Casey follows. Picks him up. Mike reverses it behind the back. Picks him up. Oh, nice backdrop there. Holds on. Second backdrop. Can we see a trifecta? German suplex to end it. Oh, rolling senton. Kick to the swole of the back there. Springboard. Frog splash. That was beautifully done. Across the back. Curb stop. Curb stop out of nowhere. Mike Storm could be looking to end it here very soon. Got Casey up. Casey reverses it. Nice reverse DDT. Drops him flat in the ring there. Casey now on the outside. What could he be looking for here? He's got a table. Puts the table in the ring. Slides in. Puts Mike into the corner. Storm reverses it. Cutter! Cutter! Mike Storm with the cutter! What could it be setting up for? Looking to end it. Picks him in the gut. Butterfly it up. Picks him up. Oh man, with the lung blower. Mike Storm with the pin. One, two. This could be it. Casey Mark kicks out at two. Oh man. That was so close. Mike Storm has set the table up in the corner there. Yeah. 
Pike Storm slides out of the ring. That was a vicious drop kick, putting Casey Marr through that table. We got a kendo stick in the ring now. Oh, Mike Storm smacks Casey with it. Back out of the ring, Mike Storm goes. Drops the kendo stick at the entrance ramp. Rolls him over. Goes for a pinfall. One and only one count Z. Taking way too long to capitalize. Another kick to the back from Mike Storm to Casey Moore. Taking too long to capitalize, and that's what happens. Casey Moore with a beautiful shoulder block. Now looking like to be in control here. Kick to the gut. Casey Moore reversal. On the apron, Mike Storm goes. Shoulder block to the floor. Casey climbs out of the ring. Kick to the chest. Oh no, he's got him up. No, 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 no. Oh, the concrete falcon arrow. That looked painful. Tosses Mike Storm into the ring there. Casey Marr comes in from the outside to follow. Gets him in a pin. One. And only a one count there. Jason Moore now working the neck on Mike Storm. Picks him up. Oh, man. Oh, what a shinobi. Oh, Mike Storm didn't really feel that kick. Oh, kick to the gut. And a cutter out of nowhere. Mike Storm. Send him up. Shining Wizard. Casey with reversal. Arm wrench over the shoulder. Oh, flat liner there by Casey. Baseball bat in hand. Casey decides that he doesn't want to use it. Back in the ring goes. Picks up Mike, drops him with a reverse DDT. Mike with a reversal. Goes for the pin. One, two. Three, Mike Storm with a pin off of an arm wrench. Oh, man. That's a weird way to finish a match. What's up, Jeff? Thought it would be the end there with that lung blower. That was not the case. As Case Moore kicked out. Why are you so hyper? That was actually a really decent match. Stop. 
up. Congratulations to Mike Storm getting victory there. We're going to get ready and move into our next match. So, last two weeks ago, we were in Japan and we had announced that we signed a new Japanese talent. Hiromu Takamoto made his debut in a beautiful show out by him, too, actually getting the victory in that match. So, this week, he's facing Diego Riley. Sorry, Diego. I don't book the matches. I just commentate for them. So, Diego Riley versus Hiromu Takamoto getting ready to come up next first time ever these two have met and not the first time for Hiromu Takamoto being in the United States though this man has traveled with uh, New Japan he's also been to Shikara um, also wrestled for Combat Zone so he's no stranger to the deathmatch styles of wrestling along with traditional style of professional wrestling as well Very talented gentleman. Very nice guy. Unlike Diego Riley. Just kidding. Diego is actually a really nice guy. So, backstage a little while ago, uh, Jesus was actually met up with Malenko. Um, he says that he wants an official match with Madness. And uh, we are here now to confirm that at Blood and Gore... Jesus Perez will be facing Madness. Not just any match, but it will be contested under deathmatch rules. So we'll see how that goes at Blood and Gore next weekend. So excited to see that those two big men going at it. But as of right now, we got Hiromu Takamoto into the ring. And now we are awaiting Mr. Diego Riley. Leader of the Super Kick Club. Self-proclaimed leader of the Super Kick Club. Uh, Seth Schmidt would like to disagree. But we're not going to get into that right now. Diego Riley making his way this young gentleman has made a name for himself recently here in UWA as well as in BCW being the, uh, I believe the first ever hardcore champion. If I'm wrong, then I will correct my statement later. As the money falls from the sky, Diego Riley looking like he's ready for this match against... Hiromu Takamoto. This should be a strike fest. Hiromu's got Diego by the back of the head here. Diego with elbows to the gut. Clothesline there by Hiromu. Very nicely done. This young man from... Yokohama, Japan. Got a sludge hammer. Hits Diego Rally with it. And again with it. 
to the second rope. He's trying to look for that flying knee. Close lines Diego Riley to the outside. Onto the ring apron. Springboard moonsault onto the outside, onto the concrete. That looked horrible for Diego Riley. Roman picks Diego up, elbows to the gut. Oh, oh, nice elbow drop there. Just taking it to Diego on the outside. Right into the wooden steps. Picks up Diego. Oklahoma slam style. Into the barricade. Oh, man. And again into the wooden steps. Hiromu Takamo just taking it to Diego Riley. Picks up. Oh, Diego reverses it. Gets him. Oh, right. Back in the neck across the knee. Oh, now Diego Riley showing Hiromu that he can do certain things better. Curb stomp onto the concrete. Hiromu Takamoto has to be knocked out cold. There is no way he's getting up from that. And Diego Riley just adding insult to injury here. Hitting Hiromu with a baseball bat. And across the face with it. Kahuomu up now, tosses him into the barricade. Diego Riley making a comeback here. Super kick. Can we see another curve stop? Oh man, on to the outside. Again. Tosses Roman back into the ring. Diego Riley, oh, reversal. Hiromu, got a submission in, submission in. There's no rope breaks here, but Diego Riley gets out of it. Takes Hiromu off. Hiromu rolls out of the way. Takes the midsection. Punch turns him around. Shin breaker. Hiromu talk mode, just chaining moves together. Getting the crowd behind him here in wonderful Los Angeles, California. Diego Riley has said some horrible things about LA. Oh, DDT! Oh, what an insiguri! Oh no, could he be looking to end it here? Hiromu's up, super kick! Diego Riley looking for the pinfall. One, two, and Hiromu kicks out at two and a half. Diego Riley to the center rope. Oh, flipping senton off to the second rope. Ooh, almost damn near broke Hiromu's elbow there. Punch to the gut. Takes him gut. Stunner. Oh man, into a dragon sleeper. Diego Riley can tap out of here, and that looks bad. Diego Riley taps out of Roman Takamoto. Picks up the victory, making Diego Riley tap out. That was unexpected. Diego should have won it here with that super kick. That should have been the end of the match. After two curb stomps on the outside, a super kick on the outside. Hiromu Takamoto should have been done, but he pulled it out with this cutter into a dragon sleeper style submission move. And there you see Diego Riley just can't withstand it. Too much pain and he taps out. Wow. We'll have to get a word with Diego Riley about that match.
But Hiromu Takamoto winning, showing very impressive on the go-home show to Blood and Gore. This young man has a bright future no matter what company he decides to go to. So, but he's here in UWA making a name for himself and he's doing a very decent job of it. But we're going to move on into our next match. And we have a returning Troy Bird facing Seth Schmidt. And this should be good. Very excited for this. Both Troy and Seth. Master Strikers. Troy Bird's more of a mat-based wrestler. Former mixed martial artist. Former cage fighter, I should say. Because he's still a mixed martial artist. My apologies. But Seth Schmidt just has what it takes to be a professional wrestling star. And recently found out he's signed with the Yakuza. Joined up with Chris Malenko's team. But uh, him and West Lightning have not been getting along. Causing some internal beef there. Says Schmidt has a world championship match that, uh, next weekend at Blood and Gore against West Lightning. And from my understanding, if Wes loses, he's kicked out of the Yakuza and Seth takes his spot. In my opinion, I believe Seth would be a better choice for that spot of world championship because uh, we haven't seen West Lightning in a few weeks pulling a Brock Lesnar. I know that this week he couldn't join us due to um, personal things going on with his family and everybody here at the UWA Underground Wrestling Alliance and I'm sure in Bull Championship Wrestling give out their condolences to Mr. West Lightning. But we are going to go ahead and move forward. Seth Schmidt looking to make a larger name for himself than what he already has facing former UWA world champion. Stop. And here comes Troy Burr coming through the crowd. Sorry about that. <laughs> Troy Bird looking really good here. He's been out for a few months with a neck injury thanks to Wes. Um, but... He's looking very, very strong here. He was supposed to have a match with Simon Oxley, and it just, I don't know what was going on that night between both men. But let's see if Troy can make his well-deserved return here. And what better place to do it than Los Angeles, California, as we wait for Seth Schmidt to make his way out here taking his sweet time but he can back it up though the confidence some people will call it arrogance other people cockiness but what I see in Seth Schmidt is future UWA World Heavyweight Champion and he can do that this next weekend my apologies next weekend at Blood and Gore against West Lightning. But tonight, he's got to focus on Troy Bird, returning Troy Bird in this traditional UWA deathmatch. Seth Schmidt, no stranger to a UWA ring. He's been around for a little while. Whipped himself up the power rankings and earned himself a title shot. So... Troy Bird feels that he should have never lost his belt, and the only reason he had to give it up was because he was injured. But he's back now. Oh, already out the gate with a flipping sun power bomb. 
Oh, he misses the middle rope swanton there. Kick to the chest. Heard next one Flores. Oh, what a TKO! Pulling out some big moves out the gate here. Toss Seth onto the ring apron. Belly to belly suplex, bringing Seth back into the ring the hard way. Looking like it hurt there. Troy just straight out the gate. Aggression. Leaping clothesline. Little, little missed up there between both men. That's the one thing about Underground Wrestling Alliance is pure. We are purely live. Elbow drop across the back of the neck. Troy Bird trying to uh, give a sense of feeling there to Seth Schmidt. And Seth Schmidt with a reversal with a reverse DDT. Troy rolls to the outside, slides back in. Picks up Seth. Seth with the go behind. Oh, man, with a sit out. Looked like a sit out neck breaker there. Hurricane Rana, very nicely done. On to the outside now. Seth be looking for it here. A lot of dangerous goodies under that ring. He's got a steel chair. Hits Troy in the gut with it. Drop kick into the chest while Troy's sitting in the corner. The steel chair, Seth Schmidt pushes Troy away. Seth's got him lifted up, military press position. Drops him down. What a beautiful moonsault. With the pin, one, two, and only a two count. Troy Bird managed to get out of it. Seth cannot believe it. The look of angst in his face. But I know it's a little too early for him to get frustrated. Looking for the submission. He's got a minute. Last chancery. Troy Bird can tap out here. Nowhere for him to go. Oh, and Troy gets out with a punch to the face. Showing some strength. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. Just drops Seth. Troy up. Across the knee. Oh, man. End of heartache. Troy climbs to the top. 6.30 and Seth rolls out of the way. Look for the pin. One, two, and only a two count. This has been back and forth. Hard hitting out the gate between both of these men. Reverse DDT by Troy. Troy climbs up to the top. 6.30 splash. Seth Schmidt may be out cold here. Kick to the face. Oh, knee to the face. And another knee to the side of the face. And a third knee to the side of the face. Troy Bird just really trying to get Seth Schmidt to lay down and stay down. Troy has Seth up. Oh, man, that looked dangerous. Pinfall one, two... And only a two count. How did Seth manage to get kicked out of that? How did he do that? Suplex into a tombstone pile driver. That looked bad. Troy Bird calling Seth Schmidt to get up now, though. Off the top. Uh, elbow across the forehead there. By Troy to Seth. Troy's got Seth back up again. Fireman's carry position. Drace him across the top rope. Kick to the gut. Looking for a punch. Seth reverses it. Back elbow. Picks him up. Military press. Drops him behind him. Setting up for that moonsault again. Gets it. Could Seth be looking for here? Kick to the face. Last chance. Or he's still looking for that submission hold. Troy Burke tap out. 
We've already seen one submission victory happen. Could we see another? Oh, and Troy would not give up. The referee had to break it up. Full mount, hammer fist. Dropping down. Throwing some elbows there. Hammer fist again. Seth getting pumped here. Kick to the gut. Throws him in the rope. Heel kick. Another heel kick. Ducks in. Neck breaker. Seth goes to the outside. What can he be looking for underneath the ring, ring apron now? Another baseball bat. Trying to hit Troy with it. Troy rolls out of the way. And he finally gets him with it across the side of the face. Military press. Moonsault. Seth just needs to get the submission here. There it is. Last chance here again. Center of the ring. Troy Bird has legit nowhere to go, but he taps out. Says Schmidt moving on the blood and gore with a victory underneath of his belt, hopefully raising his momentum into the world championship thing. Match. What? Sorry, I know. Well, okay, Brittany, I'm sorry. So we're going to go and do the rest of the show without commentary. Uh, enjoy the rest of the show, guys.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 